Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire, and today we're gonna be doing the defect. Now, before we actually began, well, before I began recording, I did have a nice long private chat with the game, and it said that it's gonna be a little bit uh, uh, better towards me today. Let's just say that. Uh, it won't make me rage as much, even though, yes, if, uh... Okay, I didn't rage, but... Hmm. It was a little bit tilted. Ascension, level 18, defect. Elites have more challenging movesets and abilities. So let us begin. Yeah, the, uh, I don't rage nowadays because I stopped playing uh, games that make me toxic. So, yeah. Uh, okay, remove a card is normally not bad. So let's remove a card. Let's remove a strike to be a bit more precise because, I mean, let's face it. Ooh, quadruple rest with an elite and a super elite. I think that's worth it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's worth it. Okay, let's, so let's go that way, just here to the uh, right side. Hmm. So that one's gonna weaken me, which is kind of sad. But I don't want to take one damage. I guess I'm gonna take one damage. I knew the lightning orb there was gonna be basically doing nothing, but I'm hoping for exactly that. Because this means that I don't get to take any more damage. Flex Potion might help. Static Discharge. Alright, so initially, uh, before I started, I actually wanted to do uh, Chaos, you know? I, I was sort of like itching to do a really good Chaos run. Uh, but, to be perfectly honest, I'll be happy with a Power Run, with a run that wins, or in general, a run that does not infuriate me way too much. Okay, uh, I'm willing to take the damage here. Normally, when you're running Static Discharge, especially when it's upgraded, you want to take one damage, like specifically one or two damage, like a small amount, just so you can generate extra lightning orbs. Uh, so if you can actually manage that, it's amazing. Uh, I do want charge battery, but not now. Eventually I will, just currently not now. So I actually do want to upgrade Static Discharge here, because if I run into the Gremlin Knob, it is going to be very, very useful. Of course, obvious here what I was going to do. I mean, I didn't have much of a choice. I actually could have... Yeah, if I actually used uh, both the potions, I didn't need to take that damage. But again, I would need to use two potions for that. So that's six. Yeah, I um, shouldn't have used the lightning orb there. Should have just fully defended. That was my fault. I just forgot that it has nine block now. Uh, leap is definitely something I do want, though, like right now. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. This is just a question mark. Hmm. I don't think I remember ever having this fight this early, like, below the, like, second... Below, like, half. I was gonna say second half for some reason. For some very, very unknown reason. But yeah, I don't ever remember having this fight this early. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I don't have much of a choice here now, do I? Now... This one's buff. Oh my god, they gain five strength now. I mean, it's just one more, but still. And... Oh, well, I can take care of both of you, so... There it is. And boot sequence is actually always good to have. Static Discharge again. It has to be upgraded in case I do run in again into... Uh, actually, it will be fine versus two out of the three elites on this floor. Uh, this is the only one that it's not good against. And there is a reason for that, because this one tends to hit kind of hard. And uh, unless I actually get 15 block every single time, it's not worth it. Or more, of course, like this. Now, it's worth taking one, two, even five in this fight, to be a bit more, you know, precise. It is worth it. Because I'll generate two orbs for it. I mean, most of the time I'm going to be taking damage anyway, so I might as well get, you know, something out of it. Of course, boot sequence comes in on the one turn that I actually don't need it. Come on, boot sequence. Never mind. Oh, it's negative do now! Oh my god, that makes this fight the most horrible fight on this floor! You're kidding! Oh, that is unreal! Oh boy, White Beast Statue. Chaos! Yes, I still want to run Chaos. Oh my god, I'm heading. Actually, I'm gonna rest here. I'm, uh, because I want to upgrade Chaos. Uh, even though I'm running powers, I can still run Chaos. Chaos is fine. Data Disk is amazing. Oh my god. Oh, give me an extra chaos and I'll remove the static discharge. Well, I don't really need to. I might remove the static discharge. Please get the wizard. Oh, actually, thank you. Um, so I didn't want to be weakened at all here. 
So I'm actually gonna do this. Because weakness will prevent me from actually removing the wizard in time. And that is very important because I don't want to know what uh, damage it does after Ascension 17. Okay, please hit the wizard. That is the only thing I ask. Thank you. That is the only thing that really mattered here. There's a chaos which gave me a couple of orbs. The problem is I think I'm going to take damage here. Actually, no. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I am because I don't have two energy. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, well. Was hoping for this to be painless, but never mind. Strength potion. Another static dish. At this point, I've picked up Chaos, so I'm not going to go too heavy on the powers, but I do still want to pick up powers. Considering Log of Olin just did negative two strength and negative two, two dex, uh, I'm kind of reconsidering my elite fight, <laughs> my super elite fight. Uh, they have two extra strength, okay. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of damage out of them. Oh boy! Well, if those stay for a little bit, you know, they don't even need to stay too long. I just need to dual cast both of them. Doesn't really matter when. I just need to do it. And we're golden here. Because that is still going to be, yeah, that is still going to be 40 plus damage. Especially on the first one. And yep, definitely dual cast that one. That, that one's just gone. Now I'm probably going to take damage and I probably won't get dual cast in time. But I am willing to play static discharge because I should need it here. Oh, they had three dazes now? Alright, uh, this one I can eliminate at least. Okay, so I'm actually going to take only 12 here. Because this one's going to hit, the orb is going to evoke, exactly. Perfect, perfect. Oh my god, I can't believe they had three dazes. What? Oh my, this is going to be... Oh boy. Have I not noticed this until now? Like, seriously? Okay, bag of preparations, emerald key, and nothing. Unless I want to take bullseye. I actually don't need flux potion, I'll take the energy potion. 24 HP, I think I'll remain on 24 for now. I want to break free, but first I want to upgrade leap. Oh boy. Have I really not noticed this up until now? Haven't I been doing Ascension 18 for like 2 or 3 weeks now? Oh boy, I can't believe I I haven't actually been paying this much attention. Or maybe I have and I've just forgotten. I mean, that's possible as well. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the one here for the orbs, but at this point I actually don't want to take any- Oh, that was a bad idea. What did I do? Good thing I had the frost orb there. Okay, there he goes. Fruit juice, uh, strength potion or fruit juice? Fruit juice. I mean, the energy potion has different value for me. Okay, I might have to go in 29 HP. The reason for that is the upgraded chaos is very important. And I can't wait until the next floor. So there's one chaos, and this can just stay there for a little bit. Just, just for a small amount, until I get dual cast next. So basically no more chaos, which I'm fine with. How many slimes did you add? Three, okay. I believe it always added added three. Please, please, please. No, never mind. Um, and I'm dead. Oh my! You gave me double chaos. Why would you not give me double defend here? Uh, double defend would have saved me. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Now, there's no point in playing here, because uh, that's lethal. Yeah, I hate this game. I swear I'm gonna quit. I know I've been saying it for like a year, but... <laughs> uh, Alright, should I transform the car? A car? You know what? I'm actually gonna go for the max HP. Let's go for the max HP. One, two, three, rest. Double lead, which actually, I'm actually reconsidering. Do I want double lead? I don't think I want double lead. I'm gonna go for double lead, but if it fails, I'm not taking double lead anymore. Uh, okay, so we want to do it this way. Yeah, hopefully early chaos again, because I love chaos. Okay, that was actually a really good turn by us. That is gonna be nine block again. Yeah, nine block and a lot of way too much strength. Uh, I'll pick up the AOE. Remove upgrade or transform. Let's remove a. Strike. 
Just because I can. Of course, Sweeping Beam because I might draw a zap. Never mind. Plus, it's the same damage as a strike, so. Speaking of zaps, there it is. I'm willing to take the one here to deal six because this enemy will scale a lot, a little bit quicker than uh, what it normally will. And one damage is generally not too, too much. Now, I actually want to take self repair, but I want Melter as well, uh, which is kind of an issue. Again, I do want self repair, but I want Melter. I think Melter has to take priority. Wait, we're going to the left. Just because it is Melter and it is against certain enemies, extremely powerful. Okay, please a defend. Or not. Should have taken the self repair. Alrighty, and never mind. Uh, nope, 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 nope. You know what? If this run loses, uh, the next one, I'm just gonna pick up every single card. Like, I will not skip cards. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I can actually take down one of them. But first, before we do that, I can actually take down two of them. Uh, which is a good amount of HP saved. Now, of course, the problem is I don't defend, but I was always gonna take damage here. There really wasn't much of an option. Sure, I'll do this. It doesn't really matter, but I'll do it. And... And... Okay, there it is. It's the weakness. It's uh, kind of brutal. Uh, leap. I do want a good leap. And, like, no joke. If this if this specific run loses, the next run, of course, unless it's like 50 minutes in, uh, is going to be just me picking up every single card. That is absolutely no joke. Like, I will pick up... I will not, like... I will not skip cards. It won't work. It'll die kind of quickly, but I will not skip cards. You never know. It might actually be a miracle run. Right, so I actually do want to open up with a Zap and a Melter here. So I'm going to pass, and I'll definitely be using this. There's no point in... Right, maybe Melter Sweeping Beam in the hopes of getting Zap, please? <sighs> sure, whatever. And the leap is gone, so... Now this is perfect. I might get a leap. Yep, okay. Now Lagavulin actually, because the negative two strength and negative two dex puts you on an even bigger clock. Uh, normally, uh, this fight is... Well, almost all the elite fights are a huge damage race. But this... Okay, let's actually use Melter first. Actually, and I should have used the Flex Pusher. This actually makes it a lot, a lot more dangerous. Well, actually all of the elite fights should be a lot more dangerous now. Which, I don't think they needed to be made that much dangerous. I mean, with the special things. Maybe, like, boosting their damage by, like, plus two again would have been absolutely fine. Uh, so, dual cast, zap, leap, and sweeping beam. Normally, not in that order, but I knew I wasn't going to draw anything that I was going to play anyway, so. And sweeping beam. Strike, zap, okay. And look at how much damage I took just from this fight. Strength Potion, Force Field. Now, I actually don't play any powers yet, so I don't want Force Field. Now, granted, there is an argument to be made that uh, Frost Orb builds are going to be a lot more powerful because they're a little bit more defensive, and that is entirely true, and we're actually going to go for one next time, but not this time. Uh, so I actually want several things here upgraded, both my AoE, both uh, AoE, Melter, and Leap, including Zap as well. Uh, for now, though, I think I'm going to settle for Melter because it is a very powerful card. Mmm... Disc? No, Orichalcum, okay. And Orichalcum works really well with Frost Orbs, I mean, let's not forget that. So, 32 HP, and I'm gonna be going to the next Elite fight, and yes, I will be going with 32 HP. Uh, skipping upgrades is probably not the best idea I would've ever had, so... Now, good news is, good thing I upgraded that, actually saved me a bunch of HP there, but I'm still gonna lose too much, which is something that I don't like. At all. I'll probably have to use both the potions on the next elite fight. Unless I die here, of course. There's always that option. Uh, I guess I do want a ball lightning at this point. Okay, 23 HP elite fight, and it's the knob. Um, absolutely fine by me. I mean, it didn't really matter because... I mean... It's an elite fight. I mean, why, why does it matter? Alright, so I need to use this power here. And this skill here, because it is just way too much block. It is worth using. 
And I'm dead. Uh, actually, am I? No, I'm not. Had to use all the potions, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Another force field, but there's a reboot here, so that's definitely something I'm gonna pick up. Let's actually go to the shop, maybe a free Lee's Waffle, because I wouldn't be able to pick up a paid one. Uh, no, but there is an oddly smooth stone, which I do want. It is odd, it is smooth, it is everything I like in a stone. Hmm. Please be something good? Never mind. Uh, well, it is good to see that event, but, uh, yeah. I should have rested. I should have rested on 20 HP, because if I had somehow won on 20 HP, uh, it would, I would be better off. Unlike what I currently am now. Shouldn't have sleeping beam there. Never mind. Actually, I didn't have anything worth playing except the dual cast, but that's free, so... Yeah, the problem is this turn, and I can't actually split, but I can actually sort of defend. Are you kidding me? I'm actually gonna split. Oh, I totally forgot letter opener was a thing. I'll be honest. I'm dead. Um, yeah. 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 Very much. Uh, this split is an exact split, so it is not good at all. Oh boy. I'm not frail yet, which I am surprised. Uh, I guess letter opener will help with some of the AoE. The problem is we actually that's actually not enough AoE most of the time. That was a skill, this was a skill, and I, this is not considered a skill, right? Yeah, it's only skills. It's not non-attacks, it's only skills. Uh, that wasn't gonna help. That wasn't gonna make a difference. Maybe if I transformed that one, but that's only postponing the uh, inevitable, so... Let's go for run number three, in which I did... Uh, promise that I'll pick up every single card, so... Let's go. Choose a colorless card. I mean, look. Look, this, it's not forcing me to pick a card, so I'm not gonna pick a card. Oh my, look at the path. Look at the path. There's like a single rest. That's it. That's it. There is no double rest. Are you kidding me? Goodbye, game. I'm leaving. You promised me something. You promised me victory today. Yeah, I'll pick this. Yeah, I like this. Okay, let's actually please have at least a double rest. Okay, we have a triple rest with double shop for some reason. Uh, and single lead. I guess I'm fine with a single late. You know where else? No. Actually, nowhere else has a double rest. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, there, there is a double rest here, actually. But this is the triple rest I'm talking about, and that's where we're gonna go. We do have an elite there, which is very late, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, first three fights are going to be free for us, which... Uh, okay, so definitely don't want Streamline, because I'm never gonna get to use it. I'll pick up a stack for later. <laughs> I mean, I'll use it once eventually, maybe even twice, but that's about it. Leap here, for sure. Uh, yep, sure. Gold, gold is fine. Actually, I should go this way, right? Like so. Uh, lose the max HP. Actually, I could have lost the HP, I was fine. Go with, with the curse. You might argue that curses wouldn't be as bad, and I would say yes, but slightly later down the line, not now. For a shop, we have 200. I am... I am tempted. I am very much tempted to do this. To pick up whetstone. I mean, there's no point in removing cards. My deck is gonna get really thick. And definitely gonna upgrade here as well. I mean, if I upgrade stack, at least it's gonna be usable now as well. I mean, the minimum it's gonna be is 3. And it's gonna be around 5-ish on average. Uh, otherwise, generally stack you want on a thicker deck. Are you kidding me? Why? I guess I could start off with a dual cast. Sure. Uh, so too bad I can't pick up self-repair. Too bad I actually can't do anything here. What am I doing? I have 36, 36 gold. Zap? Yeah, you know what? Upgrade the zap. Why not? Yeah. Oh boy. And capacitor, of course, of course, capacitor. Now, sadly, the <laughs> elite fight is not free, uh, which of course I should have been expecting, as I always do. 
I, I never expect my elite fights to be free. I always expect to have to suffer through them. It is just a part of the spire. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. The minimum is going to be three, and because my deck is kind of thin, it's almost always going to... Are you kidding me? At least I got some blah, but he has like nine strength now. Hey, he's gone. Okay. Meal ticket is... Was going to be more helpful earlier. Uh, a lot earlier, like before the two shops earlier. I have no idea how I would have gotten it, but... Yeah. Alright, am I double striking here? I really want to. I really do. It's a Hexaghost fight. I really shouldn't. And I should have... What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Like, why did you skip that block? Why did you take that extra 5 damage? What is wrong with you? Should have taken heat sinks. Uh, Alright, go for the eyes. It has to be upgraded. It is very important. It is uh, extremely important. Because if I don't upgrade it now, I mean, let's face it. Uh, past this point, I'm probably just going to be rusting. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, it's a, I, needed to be, I needed that to be upgraded. Capacitor being played. And this is definitely obviously going to be played here. Just so I can get the uh, full block on. Come on. Oh, there's a, there's a thingy. Okay, got an orb up. Got two strikes in. I'm uh, feeling very, very not confident about how this fight is going to go. Why, you ask? Um, we don't have enough damage. <laughs> Considering I was supposed to pick up every single card, I still don't have enough damage. How is that possible? I mean, granted, I picked up several defensive options, but that was always going to be the case. Uh, you know, I was never not going to pick them up. That was probably one of the best the stacks we're gonna get, of course, unbuffed by strength. Oh uh, boy. You know, the nice thing is, when you have a slightly thicker deck against the Hexaghost, uh, the burns sort of uh, don't annoy you as early as they normally do. Um, okay, one, two, stack. Again, stack is good if you have a thicker deck. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Well, how dead am I? Very. Because that was exact damage. Well, it's a short one today. It's a very, very short one today. Yep, sorry about that. Next week we're gonna try again with the, uh, if I don't forget, next week I'll try with the pick a card, you know, like, don't don't skip any cards, basically. Uh, I'll probably name this episode Don't Skip Any Cards so I can actually remember next week. We'll see. For now, though, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire and the game lied to me, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.